Why? Why we ain't dancing that? Go with the party line. Why do that shit all the time? Why I was spinning in the rain by myself like a Mario? You know who my grandfather is? You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to my brother Showtime SP and all the people who watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. Gra, gra, gra. Shout out to the Bronx. Shout out to Uptown. I feel real uptown right now. Shout out to QB Black Diamond for putting her event together. Look like a pretty dope crowd. I didn't get to see all of the event. You know what I'm saying? I got the kids, a lot's going on. I'm moving and grooving. My daughters was cooking dinner, you know what I'm saying? They, they, the older that they get, I got a 13 year old. The older that they get, they like to start learning how to cook and do things like that. And I be, you know what I'm saying, making it, making it happen, you know what I'm saying? So I'm chilling, doing my dad thing, watching a little sports, and you know what I'm saying, SP's watching the event. Event, doing the play-by-play -play, letting me know what's happened. I definitely was interested, but y'all ain't here for all of that. I'm not about to play with y'all. Um, Debo, Caps, altercation at the event. I seen the footage. I got the footage. That bite. Ain't no, you wanted it back, homie. It's right here. Call me, homie. I'm like, oh. <laughs> You got knocked the fuck out! I'm building right now. Okay. Definitely. Okay. Hell yeah. Overall. How's CT doing overall? Wait, uh, I, we're building right now. Okay. Definitely. Okay. Hell yeah. Overall. How's CT doing overall? Great, uh, I, we had some great performances. Hold on one sec. I spoke to different people who was there. I spoke to people who spoke to both parties. And I feel like I could deliver this from the best perspective because I break down every round that I've sketched out and I've been doing this on a consistent basis and I've seen and heard all of, a lot of the things. You know what I'm saying? I'm actually up. It's pretty late, but it's cool. I'm gonna get it to y'all because when y'all see this, I'm finna be asleep, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, what I've been getting is a lot of calls, a lot of text messages from people who was at the event, people who saw what happened, people who knew what happened, people who knew what happened, who led up to the event, and people who have spoke to both parties afterwards. First of all, you know, Cap, shout out to him, everything that he's got going on, he knows what it is. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Y'all don't even notice this, bro. Fettuccine 20 is in the blue hoodie. The security has caps outside. He has on slippers. The slippers is off his feet. He is outside, raw dog in the concrete in the rain with no shoes on. Fetty picks up his shoes, so he don't even got no shoes on. This is crazy. We can't come outside in flip flops. I don't let the bros ride with me with flip flops, because you don't ever know what can happen. Like, yeah. I'm like, oh. Uh... <laughs> At all times, you know, in the house you can have your flip flops, but all that coming outside and your flip flops, that's a no go. How did can't? Caps knows nobody's gonna have no mercy. Shout out to No Mercy in the Trap, New York. Everybody know that. So if you here on some old caps, yada yada yada, we need to be nice and with you. You can get off the channel right now, go on about your day and do that. But we all know that if this would have happened to anybody in the world, caps would be live with three random niggas we never seen in our life breaking that shit down for hours and hours and hours. I None of you battle rapper niggas say something to me. I'm too I'm serious too. I'm talking to him and you niggas be sensitive and I'm saying the truth. Leave me alone. I like most of you. I've seen Caps blog on people he need to blog on, people he don't need to blog on. I've seen Caps recap blogs that other niggas did on me. He even recapped the blog that Jims did on me. This cornball, who done been knocked out at his own events, was mad at me because I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't stand up for him after he dissed us 
and Caps recapped it. Really what we talking about, this is whole shit, man. Mm -hmm. so, so he he definitely knows that he is definitely in line for this. Man done blogged on me easily 10, 15 times in life. So he'll be all right. He gonna grow from this. And if he don't, it's no rain for the campaign. That nigga's gonna be all right. He got some compromised niggas who's not gonna speak about it. So he got enough people that's gonna support him. He's gonna be all right. He will weather the storm. <laughs> he, will he, he will weather the storm. First of all, you was outside in Bridgeport, Connecticut with, with, with no wife beater on. You ain't have no wife beater on and your jeans was 40 by 40. The nerve of you. <laughs> You know, That's like disrespect. That's I don't know. You had the work release special on. You went in there and you just grabbed anything. My nigga Caps just got dressed in the dark and he comes outside looking like he's going back to the work release after this. Like, where was your white tee, son? You ain't have no... You was doing real flagrant activity, son. You ain't have... How you ain't have a white... I got a white beater on right now and I'm in the crib. You ain't got a white beater? That was flagrant. You, was a, you already had a flagrant foul for having no white beater on. That was out of control. Secondly, your jeans was wild baggy and wild flagrant. And I don't think you had a belt on because you was walking around holding your joints up. You, <laughs> you was in there doing the Mr. Wave. His shotgun in a pants leg. I'm walking like a zombie with it. Oh my. Walking like a zombie with it all night. So I know that you probably didn't have no belt on, which is wild flagrant, right? So, um, there's been, there's a, there's a lot of different levels that I want to break this down. Y'all know if it was me, Caps would have blogged on me. I went to every single major event last year, so I don't want to hear nothing about going to events, not going to events. I don't want to hear that shit. And I'm on the flyers, too. I've been on the flyers, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm not happy it happened, but it happened to happen. And if it happened to happen and it happened to happen to me, he would be talking about this shit, and y'all know he would. So I don't want to hear it. Let's clear it. I don't want to hear it, right? So, um... I found out pretty much what everything had went on and shit, you know what I'm saying, Flap Caps was actually out there barefooted and Fettuccine 20 had to get his shoes and give them back to him. So not only was he out there in that torrential downpour with no clothes on, with no wife beater on, he ain't have no shoes on. Come on, my nigga. <laughs> That's wild, son. Like, I, wh wh <laughs> Cap <laughs> I want to know. Where did you leave from to get to that event that told you you could be there with flip-flops on? There's no flip-flops in the day room. I ain't even never been locked up. I never been to jail, you know what I'm saying? His sons was the ones that was telling you I told on surf, right? And I never been to jail before, never got locked up in my life. But even I know that you don't wear no shoes in the day room, you know what I'm saying? His sons got done the same way. Ain't it crazy? Ain't it crazy to go to the event and I'm gonna leave them out. We, it is what it is, but they still clowns too. So check this out. So <laughs> you go to an event with flip flops on. I'm from the churches, we don't go out in flip flops. You ain't never listen to no little baby nigga. We don't go outside, we're from Atlanta, we don't go outside with flip flops. So you automatically bugging. And you knew about the Charlie Clip shit back in the day, so you outside with, you out of pocket with no shoes on, right? So you go to the event. The nigga Debo wasn't even at the event. Son, he was not there. He wasn't even gonna be there. But you was out of bounds because he saw you on the 15 Minutes of Fame snippet clip with Lotta Zay, you in the background doing your gritty shit, hyping up the boss. He saw you on there. He saw you. I'm telling you. I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to break down every round that I've sketched out so we make sure that we don't leave nothing left out. And I'm telling you, I wasn't there. I was home with my kids. Everybody called me and told me how this shit happened. So... You, <laughs> you lacking, you playing for the Los Angeles Lackers, you up in the event hyping up bars and shit, not even knowing that a nigga's at home watching you. Sometimes I feel like somebody's watching me. You was at the event hyping up lot of Zay bars. So there go Swave, shout out to Swave, he got a part in this too, I'm gonna talk about that a little later. You, yeah, you, you, you happy as shit, you up there, you not even knowing. You are lacking. This nigga Debo is at the crib watching your ass on pay-per-view. Shout out to Lot. I'm not going to play your balls because I ain't trying to even go through all that. You know what I'm saying? They might take my shit down. But shout out to that. So he is lacking. Basically, court lacking at the event. He don't even know. that He don't even know.
<laughs> that Debo's at the crib watching this nigga on the view, right? I mean, Debo's not even at the event. He at the crib chilling. Found out you was there. <laughs> he found out that you was at the event. The nigga did a Matt Barnes, hopped in his car, and drove to you. 30 hours? It wasn't 30 hours. It was about 40 to 45 minutes. And mind you, I don't, I didn't talk to Debo or Caps tonight, but when you as plugged in as I am, everything comes your way. And shout out to Debo, you know what I'm saying? I was just joking on him the other day and shit, and I'm gonna joke on him in this video too, but that's my man. He's still from the Bronx. He has some wrong, he has a lot of wrong in this, and I'm gonna get to his wrong in a second, but I'm starting with Caps, and then we're gonna bring it all back together, and this is probably the most you know what I'm saying, because they most analytically broke down with all of the facts in it. It's going to be a lot of other niggas who are going to talk about shit, which is great. Shout out to everybody and what they do. But this is from niggas who actually was posting the videos and this, that. I know from the people that know, right? So, uh, so he's walking, he's outside spinning in the rain like a Marion. Squat, fine we dancing that. Go and hit the party line. Well, I do that shit all the time. While I was spinning in the rain by myself like a Marion. You know who my grandfather is? My God! You know my you know who my grandfather is? Right, so then you see the video of Swave, like, taking him out the venue. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> Actually was posting the videos and this, that. I know from the people that know, right? So, uh, so he's walking, he's outside spinning in the rain like a Marion, right? So then you see the video of Swave, like, taking him out the venue and shit, and they in the rain, and Fetty is getting his shoes out the water and giving him his waters and sh shoes back and shit like that. So Debo slides to the event, right? He knows the nigga's there. He's seen him on film. He's at the Lotta Zay battle. There's still like three or four or five battles after the Lotta Zay joint. So he know when he pulls up, you gonna still be there. <laughs> you gonna still be there. The nigga Debo comes into the event with the Pooh Shiesty mask on. Oh no, Debo. Bitch, I got my own fight. I don't need security in the club. All that woofing on the net, nigga. I thought you was a thug. He pulls up with the Pooh Shiesty mask on. Debo, you, you, you. <laughs> He's a Bronx nigga at the end of the day, though. He's still from the Bronx. Like, he might be an older head Bronx nigga. I'm writing this down because Debo's a flagrant nigga. You know what I'm saying? He pulls up with the, um, with the Poo Shiesty mask on, right? Poo Shiesty and hops out. First of all, he, he couldn't even find parking. I, I'm, he couldn't find parking and the shit was flooded out there. QB got the bitch flooded, shout out to her. The nigga throws his joint in the handicapped spot. You know how crazy, you know how wild you gotta be to park your shit in the handicapped spot? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Knowing that your shit could get told on a Saturday, you might not get it back till Monday. This nigga was like, fuck it, I gotta get this nigga. If I'm lying, I'm flying, and my name's not Brian. Niggas done told me the story. So nigga parks his shit in the handicap spot, jumps out, goes in the event, kind of snuffs the nigga. Then they broke it up, they put Debo outside. It's raining cats and dogs. So they probably sent Debo out one way, sent Caps out the other way. He goes outside, it's raining. What are you gonna do? He's not gonna stand outside and wait for you. Only one, only two people is willing to be outside in the rain. One was <laughs> Caps walking around looking like Jason without the mask on, and two was Uncle Ra, who deserves a humanitarian award for being outside in the rain. Uncle Ra said some of the most important words that night. I'm just doing my job, brother. He is just doing his job. That man deserves an award because he works hard. I'm at home and I'm warm. I put my joint out. I do 10,000 views in an hour. So I'm, I'm actually a member of 15 Minutes of Fame on the low. I was, and we're gonna get to that too because that messed up a lot of my relationships because I was such a great flexer, people thought I had money before I had it, but let, we'll get back to oh, that. Yeah. But I, I once I got the Rolex and I was like, yo, this is crazy. Now, cause I'm just a correspondent. I talk about the shit that they did. That's why I always give props to them niggas cause they be places that I can't get to. I got, my kids is young. Uncle Rod's son is like fucking my age. So, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to them niggas. But let's get back to it. Keep cooking, Vada. Keep cooking, V. Simmer down. It's just that simmer sound. So, this nigga Cavs goes to the event playing for the Los Angeles Lackers, right? He in the event drunk as shit. You can hear him. He drunk. He slurring all over the place and shit like that. Wildin'. Debo snuff Cavs for the suck my dick shit. The suck my dick, suck my dick. They got famous audio of them going back and forth. Meanwhile, you over here sucking smack. So I'm like, 
running while you over here sucking smack it. So I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> You over here busting down your throat. Now what? Oh, well, it's not be being nice. Now what? No. Now what? You know you, you, know you wouldn't say that in my face no. without punching down your mouth, right? <laughs> you know you wouldn't say that in my face no. without punching no. down your mouth, right? Stop, oh, man, shut up, bitch. Shut up. No. Now no. what? Shut up. No. You like running your mother your mouth no. all the time. You like 65 years old talking about fighting you fucking cornball, nigga. No one takes you serious. No one takes you serious, nigga. You Meanwhile, you over here sucking smack. Okay, and, and where I'm from, Debo not too far from where I'm from. You tell somebody SMD, it could be up for life about that shit. It really could be up. And I done seen people get boomed on for way less. You know what I'm saying? Let's say Debo in the event and, and he see Caps and he got that Bethlehem on him because he couldn't get the burner in there, but he got that razor, he got something in there, and boom him. You know what I'm saying? Like, it get wild like that. And everybody know, like, certain sh people don't let slide. The SMD and all of that, I don't talk like that. That's why you're never going to see me on the blog telling nobody something. My D, nah, 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 I'm saying my woman, yeah. I don't do all that. I don't do no man SMD words. I can't rock like that. So, Debo had a prime opportunity to get at Caps. He knows he's not gonna see Caps at five, six, seven, to eight events this year. He know he ain't about to see him like that. I ain't gonna hold you. Caps showing up is it was kind of crazy. I didn't even know he was there when I first heard it. The people who told me that it happened when I first heard it, I didn't believe it because I'm like, he's at the, what do you mean he's at the event? I'm not saying he don't go to events, but I just don't. Since I've been around, I haven't really seen him go to events. So boom, that ends his his segment. So Caps is mad. He's calling people. He's hot. He won. Now I ain't gonna give him. I ain't gonna hate. When he got boomed on, he was trying to get his get back. He was trying to fight. He wanted to fight. He was going at him. He wanted his ones. But Debo, the type of nigga, he's a petty Bronx nigga. Once they get theirs, he don't care about the. He don't care about none of the. The, the fallout and the fall back from it. So, QB and 40 fought at a Debo event. If y'all niggas don't remember back in the days, they fought there. That was the event when nigga threw the water bottle, hit the other nigga, it was a bunch of bullshit involved, so they fucked up his event. So he don't feel no qualms or no way about going to her event and starting some shit, because they started some shit at his event. Now, two wrongs don't make it right, but it make it even Steven, and still, it still don't make it even. Shout out to 40, I mean, shout out to QB and everybody else. I'm just putting this shit together, right? So, then, Debo, Leaves, hops in his whip, he leaves, he knows everything is, is, is wild, right? So, when you think about it, right? Debo as a league owner, you so out of pocket like a rocket. You out of pocket. How the fuck do you as a league owner who throw events, want events, want people to cover your events, want your events to go good, go to another person's event that you not even got no part of or anything and hit a nigga there and could potentially cause some shit. Now, I, I would have respected it more if you went to that event, you tapped that nigga on the shoulder and said, yo, come on, we gotta go talk. Yo, come on, come on, fam, we gotta go talk. Let's go, let's go talk. We're gonna go outside, we're gonna have this conversation, and the shit go left, it go left. Y'all can go fight outside in the rain. But you coming to her event and stealing on the nigga, especially a sucker punch, I can't really get, you don't get no points for that. But I understand why it happened. It's like one of them things where I don't respect the, the shit that he did, but I know why it happened. You know what I'm saying? Where I'm from, I'm from a place where they filmed Rumble in the Bronx, where they filmed the Warriors movie. So trust me, I done seen every kind of backdoor play that you could think of in life. You know what I'm saying? Growing up there, surviving there. Going to Afghanistan, surviving there. Being in Afghanistan twice. People love to clown you and tell you, oh, you was in the military, you was in that military. That military shit ain't so bad now. I promise you that. Knowing your surroundings, knowing where you at, having enough people with you, making sure that your surroundings is safe, it's never bad when you need it. So when you clown me on it, keep clowning on me. I move like that, we move like it's war. When we leave, my niggas leave, we go the same way, same time, same pace. When I'm walking, there's people walking with me. Are we walking in a way by myself? What the hell, for what? You going somewhere by yourself? You was lacking. You, you was definitely comfortable, but Debo, yeah, I ain't gonna hold you. It was whack. You stunt, you sneaking a nigga in an event, knowing what it could potentially lead to. A nigga get boomed in there, or somebody get hit with that Bethlehem in there. What you gonna say? Hmm? You know what I'm saying? Now I understand why you did it. He told you suck your dick. So does that? I. Hey, ain't no deadline on revenge. Ain't no deadline on revenge. He got enough people that's not gonna talk about it. He got enough people that's gonna just push it on to the next subject. He got people that will lie on me. But won't, I guarantee you they won't have nothing to say about it. Talk about it. Shut your bitch ass up before I get to talking shit about you. You don't want me to expose you.
selling that weed, boy. Cause they got it the same way. So how can you? They can't even say nothing because they got it the same way. So you know they ain't gonna say nothing about it, which is fine. But uh, yeah, we we saw it. You know what I'm saying? And then when you when you do make your return, I know you're gonna be in your bag. You're gonna be talking your shit. Don't get mad at me, please. I, I'm gonna tell you this. Don't get mad at me because if it was me, you would do me the same way. You got blogs with both QPs about me, one about the your, your sons who I smoke. When I smoke, they ask, well, you gave me a little prop, so it was cool. I ain't gonna hold you. But for the most part, whenever somebody got something negative to say about me, we can count on you, Don King, to recap it and to talk. I done seen you push niggas who had 2,000 view blogs to seven because you talked about it. So I'm gonna do the same way. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no beef. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no beef. You know what I'm saying? But spring break is on heat. He's paying for spring break. I'm taking the kids on vacation and shit. You and I smoked your sons not too long ago. Then now I'm going to continue with this. Y'all going to pay for that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all talked about me. Y'all made a lot of bread talking about me. Cap's got joints with 20,000, 50,000 just going. He got a blog titled, This Is Why I Don't Like Vodafly. He got like 50,000 views. So get a motherfucking towel because I don't like you outside with no white feet on. That's what I don't like. I'm gonna take my coat. Here's my nigga. Take this motherfucking coat. I'm gonna give this nigga my coat, man. Here is the coat. I'm gonna give the coat to this nigga. And I'm gonna give him a pair of jeans that actually fit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because this is the thing. Y'all talk about me. You talk about me as much as you could. So now I'm gonna get mine back. And we all, it's gonna be all good. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna get you. <laughs> we're gonna get you. We're gonna get you dry, man. You gonna get you, we're gonna get you a coat. We're gonna get you a tie. That nigga might have ammonia. <laughs> That nigga might fuck around having ammonia. And the reason why I said it is because, like I said, if it was me, you'd be on the screen with three or four nondescript niggas in a circle that I never fucking heard of breaking down everything that happened with Vada. So, you know, just saying. I'm just saying. But Debo, yeah, you wild foul style for that. I ain't gonna hold you, man. Like, to go to an event and to pull something like this, it's low. It's, it's, it's flagrant. It's dirt box. I'm not gonna lie. But like I said, a lot of these events, you gotta really be on point. And that's why I don't go to, I don't go to no event that I have no business at. You know how many events that I get invited to? If I ain't got no business there, I ain't got no business there. I don't know if Caps was invited there, I don't know if he had business there, but if I'm not hosting a pay-per-view, actually part of the production, I am not going to be there. You know why? Because it's a risk. You risk something happening to you and you're doing it for free? Absolutely fucking not. That's why, I mean, there's a lot of events that people ask me to go to. I just don't go. They be like, yo, you nah, I, 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 I'm not a free ticket. You can't give me a free ticket. That's just me. I got kids to feed and I ain't got no Saturdays for free. So, to each their own. But, as far as Debo goes, yeah, man, come on, my nigga. You've been in this shit way too long. You was in this game before all of us was in it. But, I understand where you're coming from. You a dirty Bronx nigga. I'm a dirty Bronx nigga, so I see where you coming from. I'm gonna talk to you soon too, I just ain't spoke to you yet cause I ain't wanna do no groupie shit like just diss you early in the week cause you did that other crunchy shit then holla at you once you snuff this nigga, you know what I'm saying? That's not how I move, you know you know I get with you in like, what is it, March? My birthday is next Friday, I'll probably get with you around the beginning of April, a couple weeks or some shit, you know what I'm saying? We could talk, you my guy. Mike, you, can we get this nigga on Fox? <laughs> Up on the tables or what? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. I think he earned, has he earned the show? Hey, producers, has he earned the show? Yeah, or he gotta do some more shit. Because he didn't snuff this nigga. You know what I'm saying? I ain't mad. Like I said, I ain't happy it happened, but it happened to happen. So we might. I'm gonna get back to you on that, Debo. If I can't get you on Fox. We could, there's a BBQ's a couple blocks down, we can meet over there and we can do an interview over there. But we can get this shit done, man. You holler at me, you know, gang, 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 don't bang. But yeah, um, shout out to QB, shout out to event, it went down. It's pretty successful, her and Rex happened, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna watch that again, one round joint. A lot of people was there. That venue looked really, really good. I like that crowd, it looked like it was lit. It was a lot of people in the building and a lot of love was shown. Um, shout out to Uncle Ra, shout out to everybody over there, 15 Minutes of Fame. Getting that content up, getting them videos up quick, cause yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it. Seeing battle rap, it's nothing but a repetitive circle. Shit gonna hit you, hit the next person, hit the next person, hit the next person, hit the next person, hit the next person. It's gonna go around, and every stop it makes is gonna be somebody's turn to be on some bullshit. Either it's gonna make you, it's gonna break you, it's gonna build you, it's gonna kill you. One of the one of the couple. Now, like I said, before we leave this joint, I am not happy. You know what I'm saying? This was some this was some bullshit. It was some sucker shit. 
It was a sneak attack. I get it. But Caps, on the same hand, has to know. He talks so much shit to so many people over such time that when you go to these places, you go to these events, a nigga is liable to want to get some get back. And sometimes niggas get back don't be no blogs. They know that, that you could blog better than them. They know you could diss them in blogs. They know you could do 20, 30, 50, 60,000 views. They don't want to do no views. Sometimes they want to make you the reason why they do views, nigga. They want to make you the reason why. Like, nigga, I want to be you. You going to be in that motherfucking title. You done put a lot of niggas' names and titles before. You done ruined a lot of people's days before with your titles, with your blogs, and with the shit that you said. Done it to me before. Unbeknownst. I be like, damn, this nigga got a 40 minute vlog with these niggas on me. So yeah, you gonna be in the algorithm, you gonna be the titles and they gonna be talking about you. You got a lot of people that's not gonna cover you. Trust me, I'm just not one, you know what I'm saying? I don't owe you that either. We don't have that rapport. You're not a person that's 